By its cover is not the right way to judge a book. Before drawing any conclusion, do take a good look. Not right to form opinions only based on what the eyes can see. Use all your other senses too to allow your mind and heart to think free. You got it right again. Just like the way you did in our earlier video on proverbs. As promised, we are back with a sequel. This video too is all about proverbs and saying where we have covered another age like the previous one. As it is rightly said, every rule has its exceptions. Similarly, phrases and idioms are not meant to be taken literally. Like the proverb goes, what is right is not always popular and what is popular is not always right. So let's run through some proverbs and discover the twist. Hope you enjoy this. Well, we beg to differ here. If all of us adopt this attitude, there will be no love. There will be only war. We cannot justify our wrong actions in the name of love and war. Human beings have huge responsibility on their shoulders. Our actions do affect the entire mankind and humanity. Thus, we must behave in a sensible as well as sensitive manner. Value system should not be compromised. Only that is fair, which is in tune with morals, values, principles and ethics. Also, it's not right that we should cause harm to others to have our way. It can always be worked out through fair means too. And now that reminds me of another proverb. Where there is a will, there is a way. No, no, because silence can often be misinterpreted too. Though this is very situational, to our mind, it is always better to speak and convey what you feel. Also, in certain situations, silence could be the most inappropriate stance. For example, we often talk of justice for all. So when there arises a situation, we have to speak for ourselves and all around us. Keeping quiet is definitely not the solution and won't solve any problem. More voices, more strength. And sometimes, that voice can bring about a phenomenal change. Oh, come on now. Just because this happens with magnets doesn't mean that the rule applies to everything and everyone. <laughs> if you look around, you will find so many examples where people with similar nature, matching habits and alike thinking are able to get along so well and feel extremely comfortable with each other. It's not always that people who are different are attracted to each other. And there have also been cases where personality contrast stood and became bigger over time only to create friction amongst the people. This one is definitely not to be taken literally because customer cannot always be right an overrated aphorism for sure. Yes, customer satisfaction should always be given the highest priority, but one cannot allow a customer to take undue advantage. We need to be fair to each other. Saying this, even though most of the times we are only the customer. Customer is paramount, but customer is not always right. That reminds me of something I read at a restaurant. Customer is king and king does not ask for discount. But I am not king, I am queen, so I can ask for a discount, na? Now, isn't that the kind of losing your originality? We often talk about this, that how children must stay connected to their roots no matter where life takes them. Then, uh, this doesn't really make a good example, right? Adapting to a new place or a new society is definitely a good thing to do. But that does not mean that we need to do away with our ways and our customs which have been part of our life since eons. Well, I would like to say this over here. You can take an Indian out of India, but you cannot take India out of an Indian. And yes, a tiny little rhyme. 
be it India or any other place or be it Rome, heart is always connected to homeland and home. This one defies one of the greatest truths of life. The only constant in life is change. And yes, we do believe in this as this is what we have experienced in life time and again. Unending and continuous changes. We must not hold this to be true and look at it as a blockage in life. Why can't we be open to the fact that the universe has endless different opportunities? History doesn't always repeat itself. You can't expect lively mom squad to accept this one. No ways. Dismissed. What does this actually try to convey? Does it come as a surprise if a woman is intelligent? It's like telling a girl, wow, you look so pretty and you understand algebraic equations also pretty well. Now that's pretty funny. Sorry to burst the bubble for those who think so. Every beauty is a brain. Yeah, now don't know if every brain is a beauty. <laughs> And then we have the term ignorant fool. Awareness is very important and plays its own role in our mental, emotional and psychological development. It isn't always good to not know about something. Many a times knowing about certain things also saves us from a lot of trouble in life. Yes, we can choose what we wish to ignore, but it definitely wouldn't be right in generalizing that ignorance is a blessing. Greetings from Lively Mom Squad. We enjoyed brainstorming with the sequel just like the way we did when we created Proverbs Part 1. And maybe we'll be coming up with a Part 3 as well. More the merrier you see. We really look forward to your support as well as your valuable comments and feedback. It really encourages each one of us. Do like and share this video and also do subscribe to the Lively Mom Squad YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about our next video. Thank you so much. Take care and stay safe.